What's up, guys? How is the audio and video? Let me know super quickly uh, if the audio and vis video, Vizio, <laughs> Vizio, what am I selling? Uh, Vizio TVs here. Um, what's going on? Can you guys hear me? Let me know if you guys can hear. How is the uh, audio quality and the video quality? Any difference from Japan? Because I got, I'm on high speed internet here. We're supposed to have like 400 megs. I'm um, just kind of curious on on that. We shouldn't have any problems anymore as far as streaming and video. Um, thank you guys for getting on. I was not going to make it today. I wanted to do a off day for myself. Woke up with a headache, but my 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 girl was like, hey, we already uh, scheduled a live. And I'm like, oh, crap. All right, let's just do it. Um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What's up, guys? So um, all you VIP guys, type in the chat quickly. VIP from where? If you're not a VIP member at Learn Auto Body, just put non-VIP just so I can kind of see who's on the call right now. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway, one giveaway today to a VIP member. Um, I just got my shipment of a bunch of gun buds delivered yesterday. How many I got in here? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. I had 10 of them. One of them I, I was uh, playing with downstairs. I needed a light last night. But I got 10 gun buds ready to ship out. Uh, let's see. Uh, loud and clear, much better. Stephen Mitchell, Porsche DIY, Paul, John Crew. Pistol Pete, Kelvin, thank you guys so much. E-Boys Customs, uh, Gary, VIP North Carolina. Arnold, what's up, what's up? Um, Stephen Mitchell, Aaron Smith, VIP. Porsche, VIP. Cell Burnell, non-VIP North Carolina. Teddy Davis, VIP Atlanta. Spraying a lot of orange peel, need one. Uh, non-VIP, thanks for your videos. All right, guys, I want to say thank you for getting on. Thank you so much. It's been a rough couple of weeks slash months for me because I have had no shop to do any car work in. As you know, you have guys been following me from Dallas to Hawaii, back to Japan, back to Hawaii. It's been a rough, a crazy year. And I do travel a lot normally, but because of the whole pandemic thing, I got stuck in Japan a little longer than I wanted to. We were going to set up shop there. Um, but then I was like, dude, I need to get back to Honolulu. Like I, I got my house here, you know, I'm set up in my new office. I'm still, it's still empty, still like echoey in here, but little by little, um, Kelvin Walker, today's your birthday. Awesome. Aaron Smith. Thank you so much. Um, all right. What's the news? Okay. So I still have about nine more days on quarantine. I get out on the 29th of July. Um, but I might make a intro video on the CRV project. You guys want to see what's going on with that? I can pull it in the garage here and just kind of go around it, talk about what we're going to be doing, what color we're going to be painting, what type of body work we're going to be doing to it. Um, I might even put a small little mini lift kit on it because I got all the tires delivered. So I might make, uh, you know, maybe what's today? Today's Sunday here in the U.S., maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will make a, a video um, just kind of going around the car, showing you what the plans are, what's going on, and then I'll probably even be able to start working on it in the garage. I only have a two-car garage down here. It's fun. It's not like my Texas shop where I got a complete shop, but hey, sometimes in life, you have to work with what you got. You know, sometimes you can't be too picky. You know, you got to work with what you got. And then you gradually step up from there. I feel like I'm starting from ground zero again. It's kind of weird because this is where I started Learn Auto Body uh, over 10 years ago. <laughs> Twice the size of my garage. Uh, yes, Arnold, I haven't seen it recently, but maybe tag me. Look, guys, I haven't been on Instagram really. My girls have been posting some videos and, and images for me, but I've been really busy just offline getting the house situated. You know, it's, it's just a lot of work. Um, but yeah, I will definitely make a follow-up video on the CRV project. And then maybe even as early as next week, another week from now, I can start working on it. And we're going to be doing a complete paint job on this thing. All right, Arnold, thank you. Cool. And it's going to look awesome. We're going to 
we're going to lift it. I have to order the lift kit on eBay like today. I might lift it an inch and a half all the way around. And then that'll give me some clearance for the big uh, tires I got. I got some off-road tires, not super big, about 30 inches in diameter. Um, some Yokohama uh, country, uh, off uh, whatever, off-road countries or whatever. I forgot what they call them, open countries. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really cool. So as far as that, oh, so some of you guys are asking what the gun butt is. I'm just going to open one of them right now. And I'm going to kind of shorten it down because these things fit on any spray gun. It's a universal spray gun light attachment. So I got the mini X nine here, the side feed, uh, Adam spray gun. And all you do is just literally snap it on. It's a little too big, right? It's a little too big right now, but if I adjust it, because this is totally adjustable, I will be able to, Shorten it up. Hold on. I need to take this off. Okay. I'll be able to make it tighter like this. I don't know if you guys are watching this, but you just got to kind of play with it. So this looks pretty tight to me. So it just slips over any spray gun cup. Okay. And it allows you to fully adjust it however you want. Um, this is the light setting that we want here and you're able to basically light up whatever you're painting So if it's on a side feed gun, you could just twist it over a little bit. Okay, you can adjust it like this and It lights up exactly like everything you're spraying like look how close and there's no glare. There's no shadow All right, and it makes painting so much easier. It gets right where you need it uh, and the light is a advanced COB system here. You can get it at Zula.com if you want to buy these things, or even eBay and Amazon. Check out Amazon. Um, but I got 10 of these to give away to VIP members. So um, for the newest, so let's just do the giveaway super quickly. Who is the newest VIP member that just joined recently on the call right now? Any VIPs that just joined within the last week or two weeks? The last, the most recent person who joined, if you're on the call right now, let me know and um, I will mail you one of these. Absolutely free. Just help me with shipping and handling. Okay, help me with shipping and handling and uh, I will mail you one of these for free. It's like a $59 value. Um, I got 10 of them. So yeah. Okay, so we got Teddy Davis joined about three weeks ago. Anybody newer than Teddy Davis? Anybody joined within the last two weeks or one week? Because I know, you know, it's a different time zones. Not everybody's always able to jump on. But any VIP who joined within before three weeks, if not, Teddy Davis is the winner. Let's give some people a little bit of time um, to watch the video, and then we can come back to that uh, in the next five minutes or so. So let's go ahead and answer some VIP questions, guys. Um, Arnold says, I still have a one-car garage. I wish I had a two-car garage. But my two-car garage is pretty small. You guys, will, you'll see it. I mean, yeah, two cars will fit. But uh, So Paul says, I'm spraying clear coat with an Iwata LPH 400 at 30 PSI, 1.4 tip. I keep getting booger-like deposits in the clear coat. What might be causing it? I'm hoping I'll be able to sand them out and buffing them out. Well, booger-like deposits. Did you strain your clear coat? Did you strain your clear coat? And also, did you make sure that you still kept your... Mike, can you get me the X88 over there, please? Yeah. The X88 spray gun. Oh. Can I write the remote? Yeah. Make sure that if you're spraying clear coat or even base coat, to not take out your neck filter. I don't, mine's not in here, but there's a little cup filter that goes in here. Cup filter, neck filter. I call it a neck filter because this is like the neck of the gun. But there's a little, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. There's a little filter that goes in here. Make sure you keep that in because sometimes you will come across a bad batch of clear coat and some parts of it will just harden automatically and create like a booger, booger like what you're talking about. I haven't seen that. I've seen that twice in my painting lifetime. 
I haven't seen it recently, but it's the clear coat. It could be the clear coat. I don't know. Okay. I don't know for sure because I'm not looking at exactly what you're painting, your environment. Maybe some dust is dropping in. Maybe you have a draft of wind from somewhere, you know, blowing it in from somewhere. I don't know. But make sure anytime you put clear coat in the cup to filter it, have, it, have your filter here, pour the mixed clear in, and then you have your second insurance filter over here just in case. That will make sure that you don't have any crap in your paint. Once you eliminate that process, it's probably something else. Okay, it could be something in the air, like I said, a draft coming in, or maybe your clothes, maybe you got... You know, maybe you're not wearing a paint suit. Maybe you got some lint on your clothes. And, and when you do this, you know, maybe something's cut. Maybe you have a dirty hose. Maybe you have paint on your hose. It's very important to make sure you clean your hose down at least 10 feet of it before you start painting. Because when you paint, you know, you have your hose. Sometimes it's over your shoulder when you're painting a, a hood or a roof, right? You got your hose kind of like wrapped around your shoulder like this. You're holding it right so make sure all of that stuff is clean hopefully this makes sense hopefully that helps you out all right um let's see ray says uh ray says if you add the pearl to clear coat you can clear coat over single stage pearls mixed with the clear yes you can oh no 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 arnold arnold answered ray's question tony can i put pearl white over a single stage Olympic. Absolutely. You could put blue pearl, red pearl, whatever. I would base, I would test it out by putting maybe five grams or less, five grams or less in a half a gallon. Cause that can do a lot. Okay. Five. It depends, but I normally put maybe five to eight grams in a half a gallon because mm -hmm. Keep in mind that if you're if you put your pearl or flaking clear coat, the more coats you give it, it's just going to double up on the the look. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, Ricky says, "Is there a monthly payment for VIP?" Uh, yes, there is. Currently, it's nineteen bucks a month um, for VIP, or there's a special lifetime offer. Uh, but it's going to be my birthday in the next couple of days. And we're going to be doing a birthday special um, for Learn Auto Body uh, very, very soon this coming week. Okay. I would say probably by Wednesday. Um, we're going to be doing a birthday sale. And I'm also going to be giving away some cool stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hey, Maya. Oh, people were saying, hey, Maya. She left. Um... Porsche DIY says, sprayed some base and got some texture, sort of orange peel. Went over the base with 2000, flattened it out, cleared it. Is that okay to do? Yeah, it's okay to do, but it's really, you can do it. No problem. Okay. But if you can get your base to lay on flat, it's even better. But if you have to sand it, no problem. You could sand it out like that. Okay. Just make sure you don't put wax and grease remover on it because you will melt the base coat. <laughs> Just do that and tack it down, okay? Dry it with a chamois and tack it down. Uh, guy YouTuber says, what's the difference between primer and sealer? <clears throat> well, sealer, if you, if you have a standalone sealer, a sealer is used right before your base coat while you're in the booth, okay? You spray a sealer on it to really seal the car down. Then you can put your base right on top of that, okay? A primer... Just a basic primer is still a good foundation. You could still paint over it, okay? Um, but it's not it, – that's a very tricky question um, because primer is also considered a sealer. <laughs> but there is something called a primer-sealer mixture, and that's what I use. I use any type of uh, 2K primers that basically can turn into a primer sealer by adding a little bit more reducer. So a sealer is a little bit more thinned out than a 2K filler primer. All right, you just thin it out, you know, 10% or so, maybe less, and it gives you, uh, it flows out nicer, but you still have to sand that with 400, 500 grit, give or take, uh, before you paint, 
Okay. But I usually don't seal when I do my paint jobs. I've done it maybe five, seven times in my whole lifetime. I use, I make sure I use a really good primer sealer before I cut that down to make sure it's ready for paint. And then I go ahead and, uh, and paint. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to use a neck filter. They were $59 at, so here, check this out. You can get a neck filter here. Um, let's see. You can get a neck filter here at Zula for ten eighty nine for a pack of ten. Let's see. I'm trying to give you the drop you the link here. So it's a universal. So this will fit in any spray gun uh, cup and you get 10 of them. And I say you can wash these out or reuse them. You know, one of them will last you 10, five, 10 paint jobs. Okay. So here you go. Um, 10 bucks. You can get a pack of, pack of 10. Uh, let's see if you guys are interested in the gun bud actually you could even get the gun bud at Zula.com check out the video and see what it does right over here All right, let's go back and answer some questions <laughs> um, How long does clear coat last unopened? Clear coat can last a couple of years unopened, no problem. Okay, as long as you have it in a dry area, uh, but I would definitely make sure you mix it really well before you mix everything together. So if you open up your clear coat, or if it's in a can where you can't put a strainer stick in it to mix, just shake it up really well before you mix your catalyst and reducer. Okay, um, we're just getting ready to spray my daily driver. Who's this? Runs first on backyard tent, but tore my knee, karma. Oh my God. Just like white car and VIP. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go back to the gun bud light in just a bit, guys. Yo, what's up, Nick? Porsche, Zula has them for cheap. Uh, both our birthdays are on Tuesday. Yeah, my birthday's on the 21st, guys. Are Is your birthday the 21st, dude? Kelvin? Really? Or are you saying Tuesday on another year? Uh, so should I wait till you do your special deal this week to sign up? Yeah, I would wait, Ricky. If Make sure to get on the learnautobodyandpaint.com newsletter. So you make sure to get on the email list here. So when I send out the special promos, you get them. Otherwise, you're not going to know if we're going, special, going live with the special or not. Guys, I'm feeling much better, by the way, man. I was kind of down and out the past couple of days. Been working hard. I put up a fence. I put up a 30-foot, 25-foot fence yesterday. I'll show you. I'll give you a house tour in the coming weeks when it's clean. Um, Tony, will you, will you use Rust-Oleum paint jobs, paint on paint jobs? I really don't recommend Rust-Oleum, guys. I mean, it's a cheap paint. Why not use a real automotive paint? And also, guys, don't forget to hit the like button, man. What's going on? We got 41 people on with 12 likes. Dude, what's up? What's up, man? I'll sick my little Tengu on you. My little Japanese devil. It's a hook. I got one holding my bag over there. Oh, uh, let's see. Wow, so your birthday is the 21st like me, man. That's freaking crazy. Uh, Jack says, I have one at the compressor, and I'll show you my ghetto-ass compressor, guys. So the compressor I have is not really good for painting. It's, it's going to be good for doing some DA sanding. I might start tackling some sanding um, in the garage on the CRV. Um, I might need to get some products, some body filler. I don't have anything yet. I might even have my friend Tony pick up some stuff for me um, so I could start working here. 
Yeah, the hook is cool. My uh, Japanese uncle gave me two of these things. Their noses are are long on purpose. It's it's the look. It's the Tengu look. The Jap one of the Japanese devils. Super cool. Um, what's up, Tony? Just put in a two twenty line in a garage. Going to pick up a compressor. That's awesome, dude. Help me, no voodoo. <laughs> Runs for us. Have to give credit where it's due. Tony vids are very 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 well narrated. VIP is worth it. Don't regret buying it all. Informative narration is what sold me. That's awesome. Runs for rust. Runs. Runs, run first, for, run forest, run forest. Hope I'm saying it right. Uh, car, I sh this is today was the first day I shaved since I got back. Uh, let's see. What is the price of the gun? But I want. I don't want to go back. Uh, the price of the gun butt is right here. Right now, you can buy two, get one 50% off um, at Zula on eBay and Amazon. I believe they're in the prices ranges from 50 to 60 bucks on those. So where, wherever you want to buy it, I guess you can get it if you want. But little by little, guys. All right, so let's get back to the VIP. Who is VIP on here who joined within the past two weeks? Like a, the newest member um within the past two to three weeks anybody on right now any new v currently new vips that's what i thought run forest run forest run that's what i figured Uh, Tony, can I use a turbine to paint? Absolutely, you can. Um, I know that there are better and better turbine systems coming out on the market. Um, maybe in the future, I will actually get one and we could do a, do, do a paint job with a turbine. All right. Uh, Tony, just sprayed black vet, hot and humid. First coat clear was perfect. Waited three hours to dry to touch. Second coat full of cracks. I put the first on too heavy. No, you... I don't know why you waited three hours to put your second coat of clear, man. That was way too long. After you go around the car, okay, hot and humid, you should be ready to go over it again. Maybe give it a 10-minute flash time. Three hours waiting was – you were waiting way too long to put your second coat of clear. Uh, the only way to fix it if you said you have – Cracks is to sand it all down and repaint it. I'm so sorry, man, but that's what it has to be. Okay. It is what it is. Would like it to be. Lewis Rays. What's up, Tony? Just put in a 220 line. Pick up a compressor. Okay. Um, joking, May 21st. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to know. Who was the most recent VIP member who joined within the past couple of weeks, couple of days? Could have been yesterday, whoever, anybody recent new VIP who've never won anything yet. Um, we're going to send you a GunBud ultra lighting system. Let me know if you are on. If you're not, then I'm sorry. We got you at a bad time because I know we had a lot of people join last week. Probably just can't make it on the call. Um, I want to start kind of maybe doing these on different times. I don't know because it's just easier for me to do on set times, you know, and I know this time isn't working for everybody that's a member. Um, Joe, 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 Yvonne, Joe, Yvonne, Tony, when painting a complete car, can I throw the clear two days after? Uh, it's not recommended to, but you could wait up to a day. Uh, if you're going to wait longer than a day, I would definitely scuff down your base coat with like 1500 grit, shoot a new coat of base over everything, then clear coat it. If you're going to wait more than 24 hours, it is what it is. All right. All right. So I guess there's no recent new VIP around. I guess not. So maybe next time. Perfected 3000 has different SKUs than what's on your videos. 
Is it the same stuff? It's probably the same stuff. Um, some of them in my videos, eBoy Customs, when did you join? eBoy Customs, when did you join? And are you a VIP? Do I have? It's probably the same stuff Porsche DIY because sometimes, oh, I'm kidding, bro. Sometimes they modify the order, the, not the, the product a little bit, and then they change the SKU number on it. Yep, exactly. Teddy Davis joined three weeks ago. Okay, thanks, Aaron. Teddy Davis, are you still on the call? Because you're on and you're the most recent VIP, you win. So hopefully you're still watching this. All you have to do is send in an email to ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. And dude, thank you, Arnold. I appreciate it. Tessie Davis. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Arnold. You are rocking and rolling, man. Thank you so much for typing that in. Tessie sounds cool, though. Tessie Davis. Yo, what's up, Tessie? My homeboy, Tessie. Tessie sounds like a good name, man. I ain't got no problems with Tessie. Arnold's the man. Um, okay, guys. So anyway, I'm, dude, I just want to tell you guys, everybody, I am happy to be back home. It's been a rough couple of weeks. I'm still tired. I'm still tired, but things will get better. Things will get better. I'm like setting up here. You know, when you're traveling with a wife and two kids and moving and, and mo actually moving, okay, we've moved, you know, from Texas to Japan, Hawaii. It's a lot. It's a lot to move. Yeah, home sweet home. And eventually, like within the next two years or so, my, my main goal is to get a farm with some acreage here on the North Shore somewhere um, and to, to regain that big car shop and, um, and, and go from there. So, hey. I'll bring you guys along the journey, and um, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are still here and you're around. So keep an eye open for new videos. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a video on the CRV project, kind of going through with you guys some of the new tools, some of the sandpapers that I recently got uh, from Kovacs in Japan. And um, we, we're going to get this channel popping again. So I can't wait for you to start watching my new videos, liking them, sharing them, commenting on them. Um, we're going to have some really – brand new epic good content coming out on youtube for everybody to watch and um if you want to become a vip definitely check out vip we got you know a lot of people a lot of thousands i can't say tens of thousands because we're not at the twenty thousand mark but we have thousands of vips um Ray Orts, Tony, I joined VIP on June 22, so do I need to pay 19 for July? Yes. If you joined monthly, oh, well, wait. If you're on the 1995, you might have came on on the special five-pay plan of 1995 for lifetime access. Okay, double-check what you ordered. I'm not sure what you ordered um, because we have a $19 a month, which is just 19 a month, like until you cancel. And then we have lifetime. Okay, so I think if you're at the 1995, we priced lifetime at 1995 times five. That was a special offer we did like more than a month ago. Uh, Kel Kelvin Walker, what about the rest of the videos for week three in Ecom Dom? I am waiting for the products to get delivered to me because we ordered samples. So I can't finish the rest of the videos until I get the physical sample products that I ordered from China about 10 days ago. So we should be getting it soon. Um, so not to worry, uh, week three videos are going to be added. And then week four, I will be working on tomorrow, actually, to put in, to start putting in brand new week four content 
uh, for e-com domination. So we're getting through it. We're almost halfway there. I got some more content to create um, and it's going to be very, very cool. All right, guys. All right. So I'm going to head out today. Thanks for jumping on. It's uh, nine o'clock Eastern. I'm going to head out. I'll see you Thursday night. I got a lot of work to do. Um, thanks for jumping on. I really appreciate it. And I will let you know about the sandpaper. We got all everything lined up here. I just got to start making a couple of videos and getting it over to my team to edit. So it's Tony here, guys. Thanks for jumping on. We got a lot of stuff coming up now that I'm back in the States. Although I'm not a fan of this, the, the government in the United States. We are back. Uh, we are laying out our next steps with our projects. It's going to be good. So I'll see you guys soon. I'll be, maybe I'll even do like a live stream, you know, show you my chickens one day. It's up to you. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Thanks for jumping on. Smash the like button before you leave. Thank you, Arnold, Gary, Lewis, Aaron, John, Stephen, ENZ Print Company, Stephen, Ray, Porsche, Kelvin, Aaron, I said you. Thanks, guys, for hopping on. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Peace out. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Thanks for jumping on. Oh, let me just drop some links again for GunBud. Uh, and for Learn Auto Body, for all you non-VIP guys, if you're watching. Peace out.